All right, so if you just installed a window manager on Arch Linux, you don't have a file manager. And now you go to the list of applications in the Arch Wiki, and you will find this very long list of file managers, both console-based and graphical-based. So how do we decide? Well, we can just install all of them. So there is only one rule here, and that is we are not installing anything from the AUR, only from the main repositories. So sudo pacman-s, and let's see what do we have here. mc n n n f f f, and then ranger, that's a separate one, and then v i f n, and then kaha, and then we have deep in file file manager and then we have dolphin and then we have nautilus and then we have index-fm and we have conqueror and then we have leary-files and then we have nemo and then we have pantheon-files pantheon dash Come on, Pantheon. What have I done? Pantheon-files. And what else? We have Fox. We have PC Man FM. We have PC Man FM dash QT. We have Peony. I don't know what the exact pronunciation of that is. We have Rocks. We have Thunar. We have double cmd-gtk2 and double cmd-qt5 and then emelfm2 and crusader and what else do we have? We also have tux cmd and I guess that's it so let me just give my pseudo password here and let's see if, uh, well, which one do we want? I guess deep in anything dash arch will be good. And uh, we want, let's say, gnome keyring and then, okay. Unable, what? Unresolvable package config is detected. Double CMD GTK5 and double CMD QT5 are in conflict. Well, well, I guess one we can sort of um, sacrifice there. Let's proceed with the installation. And now Arch Linux will <laughs> do, download all the dependencies for all these glorious file browsers. So if you don't believe me that all these are in the Arch repository, now you can believe me because they're all being downloaded, but if you don't believe me that these are all, then we can take a look at the list here. So this is what I was going through in the, what is it, the Arch Wiki. So this is what I am following here. You can see all this. I did not install Emacs for File Manager. That's the only thing I missed. Everything else I missed are in the AUR. So in the meantime, while this is downloading, I will uh, pause this uh, video recording and we'll get back to you once the recording or, or rather the installation is complete. So this installation is complete now. What is interesting is how many things have been installed and even like the make and CPO has been run again. So. Whatever, let's uh, start X to launch our window manager. All right, so now that we are logged into our window manager, let's uh, open a terminal and let's start with nmc. This is the first one. This is a very classical midnight commander, two plane. You can just switch between them with the tab key and I guess uh, you can use the navigation with the like the cursor keys to get anywhere you want, like I want to get the USR slash share slash uh, backgrounds, for example, and I want to copy a few files from here. I can just, uh, I guess, 
use the F5 key and then just copy them to my other side of the plane. So if I go back to the left hand side of the tab, you will find that this file has been copied here. Very simple. You have all the uh, commands that you can use on the bottom. These are the F keys. You F1, F2, F3 to F10 to exit. And then we have NNN, which is a much more simple one. You can use, I think, the letter D to show the details of the folders. You have one, two, three, four contexts, which you can switch between using your number keys. And you can use navigation like Vim key bindings or just the cursor keys to go. Left will be going outside of a directory. Right and right key will be on going to inside and up and down will be. So right enters, left goes back, right enters, right enters. And if I press right on a file, it will try to open it. So it open the image in fa. You can use the um, what is it? The question mark to open like a kind of a help for the key bindings. So you don't have to memorize anything. Just uh, figure out what you want to do. Maybe I want to copy a file here. You can use the space to select it. And let's check how do I copy something. So I, I just have to copy, use P, letter P to copy here. So I go back to number one. Maybe I go back to my pictures folder and I will press and this just copied the file there or I can press the letter D. No, that's the details, the X to delete, I guess. And then I press Y to confirm and it is deleted. And you can use the Q to exit <laughs> all of these. And then there is a more simple version of this, the FFF. It's very simple. It's There is no multiple contexts. You just have this one context. I think you can Oh, the D in this one is the deletion key. It's not the details though. So be mindful of that. With, you can exit with Q. Ranger, on the other hand, it takes longer time to boot up because it has like three planes. One is your parent directory on the right. You can have, you can see the contents of the selected directory. If there are no subdirectories, then of course you don't see anything on the right hand side. For example, if I select this file, it will get some file information, but this picture, it doesn't. So you can see how it works. I guess this, press the question mark here, you will get a prompt on the bottom. You can press the M for manual key to check the key bindings, C for the comments. And the key binding, unfortunately, is in a very weird order. So you might have to use the slash key to search this and then the N to go through and Q to exit. And this is Ranger. And then also there is VIFM, which is also a two pane panel thing similar to Midnight Commander. But I don't know exactly how this works. This does not have a help on the bottom. So I guess for VIFM, you will have to memorize the key bindings or maybe you can press no, you cannot just get the question mark for help. Help. Well, this is Vim-like, so yeah, help, of course, work. And um, I guess you can go through this and learn how it works if you like how it looks. And this you exit by colon Q, not just Q, because it's Vim-like. And these are all the terminal file managers that you can find on Arch Linux in the official repositories. If we go and I guess and close the terminal and open the graphical uh, file managers, if we can, uh, we can use, of course, D menu for that. And the first one in the alphabetical order is Kaha, which is the file manager of the uh, desktop environment commonly known as Mate desktop environment and this is a GTK based uh, file manager and you can see it looks gorgeous. <laughs> well, it looks fine and it has this uh, classical Windows 95 style uh, file explorer functionality that you have on the left hand side this small panel that you can switch to tree if you really want the Windows 95 functionality there which you can use to even you know, move files so we can uh, 
get into the pictures folder here and I can just here maybe try to find the USR slash share slash uh, backgrounds and maybe I want to check out the deep in backgrounds rather no, not much as there so Archlinks backgrounds but this is kind of I have to go back and find the pictures there so maybe you want to use the double pane look but I don't really like it because once like let me just go to pictures here on the right hand side left hand side so this is the same kind of uh, side panel is used for both of my panes here so well it's very easy to confuse which one I'm in when I'm trying to use the tree view so maybe you can hide it if you don't really want to go <laughs> and get into that kind of trouble you can always um, turn it back on. I prefer compared to this the just uh, regular tab mode if you really need tabs if you really need to like move around different places oh uh, well I don't know somewhere but of course we are on a uh, tiling window manager so we can just open a new window and <laughs> this is the two, pla two panes we can use this uh, file manager has a functionality to open a terminal in oh no it does not have open terminal sorry i thought it has open terminal here but it looks like kaha does not support uh, opening a terminal in the current folder that's a shame well let's move on to our next file manager which is going to be the deep in file manager from the deep in desktop environment which we can use uh, launch with the dde dash file dash manager command and this is going to be a qt based application once it loads up you can see it uh, has a quite different design aesthetic and the problem is that we are on arch linux so if you just install this file manager without installing other things related to the qt um, environment or Qt, what is it, toolkit, you will not have uh, these icons for example and we are still missing some icons so I, I tried, I installed um, Quantum, I installed LX Appearance, LX Appearance and I also like uh, set up my Xenit RC to you know make the engine think that this is a GNOME session but still we are missing some icons up there which uh, I guess uh, thumbnail and list icon and uh, side pane icon and this one we can only use like a, there's no tab mode and you can see that the default size of the window or the minimum window size is just too big to have two panes on this small screen size so it does not really work well in this virtual machine here Next one we are going to look at is another Qt based one. This is going to be Dolphin, which is the file manager of choice of the KDE Plasma desktop environment. And now if you don't have the Qt things set up, it won't look nice. So now it looks kind of okay and uh, thumbnails can be opened. You can increase their sizes. You can uh, open new tabs, you can open new windows if you want to you can have a split view, well in the case of a split view maybe we can close the other one, so same issue as we had with Kaha that once you start using this left hand pane you have to kind of uh, oh, make sure that you know which one you are activated but it's like even <laughs> less uh, visible than in Kaha and here I guess you can go backwards any steps you want to go back it's not like in Kaha where we actually let me open Kaha back because this is kind of an important functionality that here you can just go backwards like this and then go forwards if you did not change your directory and this uh, will so if I go here back to my USR share and backgrounds folder then you can see that as long as I'm 
just keeping going back and forth, I can do this. This functionality does not exist in uh, Dolphin though. Well, because once I went back to home, I cannot go forward in the same place. All right, so let's uh, move on to our next one, which is going to be Nautilus, which is the GNOME desktop environment's default uh, file manager. And this one looks really strange, I guess. I guess I changed the, uh, changed too many things <laughs> in LX appearance. This is not the default look. This top row looks something different if you are in the um, regular or the default. This is not the default. <laughs> Let me open LX appearance so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, because widgets. Okay, it we switched to the breeze theme and we don't have Advaita anymore, I guess. Yeah. Well, Advaita is the icon theme, so. Well, 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 anyways, this is not how it's supposed to look like, so I guess. Um, well, only this top bar, but anyways, the other functionality very similar to Kaha, except uh, you here in your home directory you cannot go back. Once you go to the other locations and go to computer and start, uh, I don't know, getting into the directories here, then you can see that now you can go back to, to computer, but you cannot go forward again, so this is similar to Dolphin in that respect. But I think, I think this is like, uh, the base is Nautilus and uh, the other file managers, uh, just, uh, forked this one. And the next one we are going to take a look at is index file manager, which uh, I guess is just index. You can start with index. And this is going to be another Qt based application. So you can see some of the icons are just super messed up here because this is Arch Linux, and if you are on Arch Linux and you haven't installed any desktop environment, only just the window manager, and this is a very minimal window manager, so you have to set up everything, and it's seemingly quite difficult to get um, the Qt uh, tile, uh, what is it, tool set or toolbox or whatever work properly here. So this is how it looks like. Here we can go back. We cannot go forward. We have to... What? Wait, there is a forward. What does this do? Oh, and now this looks very ugly. Settings. It's kind of a very simplified uh, style of file manager. Let's go to the next one in our list, which is Leary files. And um, Lyrifies is another, very similar in the layout, but it uses, I don't know what toolkit it uses, but <laughs> only option you have is sort by, sort order, and show hidden files. And I guess if you go to pictures, is there, oh, it, just, yeah, this is the file manager that opens things on one click. I guess that's all you should know about Lyrifies. Next one is going to be Nemo which is my personal uh but it would which is the my personal choice i guess i could say so this also has a similar layout like kaha its functionality is also very similar so you can see we can go back and forward we can have uh, multiple uh, tabs and also we can have uh, the double pane window like extra pane can be opened and closed we have the different layouts here for our files and uh, we can change to be able to type in this what is this called the folder structure or directory structure we can directly type in if you know where you want to go there is an opening terminal so you can even right click to open in terminal and the other thing is that you can also click and open as a root. And maybe it won't work 
because for that to work, you probably have to set up some graphical authentication program, which this is Arch Linux. You have to set it up by yourself, of course. So let's close this. I'll use uh, Nemo personally. I really like it, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out what else should I use instead of Nemo. So that's why I installed all of this <laughs> Pantheon files. Pantheon files. How do we open Pantheon files? I guess it's P something, right? Well, we have to check that out using Pacman. So Q and let me ask for help. So we, we list files, which is the listing files, list files L, Q L. I say QL and Pantheon dash files and then yeah let's just let me pipe it into less once I find a pipe character of course and we can see oh it's IO elementary files wow all right so IO dot elementary dot files and the easiest way to open tabs. This is the file manager which is in which the, it is the easiest to open new tabs. Oh, the file path looks cool, I guess. But you cannot go forward, only backwards. Um, I don't know what these are supposed to be. <laughs> you can, seems like Kaha got registered as the default. Default thing for folders, so you can just right click and open in Kaha and <laughs> pops up. Well, this is what happens when you install all the file managers. So, can we change this to, to the, 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 what is that called? The tree view? I guess no, but we can. Oh, this actually, this is very nice. So you can, uh, you view the directory as trees here, and this will work also in Nemo, if you change the view like this. Let me just figure out if it works the same in Kaha. Well, once we are in the list view, yes, Kaha can do this too. So bear in mind if this functionality is important for you, these file managers can do it. All right, next one in the line is going to be Fox. The file browser that comes with Fox Toolkit is how the ArchWiki says, but there is no Fox file manager that I can see here, so I will have to do the same thing again, just figure out what the command is for that, and it's going to be, I guess, Pathfinder will be? That seems like Path, it was a capital P, right? Pathfinder. And here you are, if you really wanted something that looks like Windows 95, then this is your desktop environment. Look at this. <laughs> what, what, what functions do we have here? Open, open with editor. A directory, we can open a, a directory in an editor. We can make links, copy, move, so the basic functionality is here. Arrange, sort, options, view. And we don't have terminal command here. No, we have a terminal here. We just don't have the terminal set up. There's also a run program. Can I run Kaha from this? Yes, I can. So that's something that the Fox Pathfinder can do. Next one is going to be PC Man FM, which have also have a PC Man FM dash QT. If for some reason you want to use the QT toolkit, it's supposed to be the same, but of course the QT one is on a different theme because I set these to different themes for some reason. This one also can use directory or places. New tabs are available. 
You can open in terminal. There is no open as root though. If that's something that would be interesting for you. Okay, so all these file managers got <laughs> registered here, so you can choose which file manager you want to open that directory. And I guess the same will be true for here. And uh, I guess, um, yeah, the functionality looks kind of similar to the previous ones, except uh, that the tabs are, I guess, so they do slightly uh, different place. Do we have a side pane? Yes, we have. And do we have dual pane mode? Yes, we do have that too. So PC man FM is just super confusing. Oh, and these are so the two tabs. Okay, so actually one of the tabs. All right, that's really interesting. This is an interesting approach that the two pane view is just the two panes are two tabs. All right, let me close this one and let me also close this one. And uh, we are going to check out the following peony, which I'm not sure what the um, pronunciation for that would be. And this is another Qt based one. And this is a very interesting approach that here you can change directory. Well, I guess not really. Why do you, another one? I don't know what is exactly going on here, but can I, yeah, nice micro, and can I go into bin, yeah, and in bin, for some reason there is nothing, but it's very nice that you can click in and it becomes text, and click out and it becomes buttons. And here we have all these different things, so you can change the view mode, ordering. This is very similar to, um, what was it, the Nautilus file manager, I guess. So next one we are going to take a look at is going to be rocks. This is also GTK based, except it does not use the default themes and it seems like it opens everything if I just even click once. And it does not really give me the thumbnails. Oh, this is hidden files. Rocks file or help. Bookmarks. Rescan directory contents and go up. Is there anything else in this? Not really. All right. So this was next click display. Next click. Hmm. <laughs> That is interesting. What does that even mean? I have no idea. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be Thunar. So let's take a look at Thunar. This is the default file manager of the XFC desktop. And I think it, you can see that it is very similar to our previous ones that are forks of the Nautilus file manager. We can open terminal here, which is nice. You can, I think Thunar is uh, praised for its uh, batch renaming capabilities. So there's that. We can select multiple files, press F2. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a nice batch renaming tool. There is a batch renaming tool in um, Nautilus also that I know about. So here it's a little more. You can, yeah, I guess, what can I, I cannot just select like this in that mode. Anyways, I can press F2 here too. And the final replace text exists and we can have, uh, we can add automatic numbers after the original file name. That's the functionality here. In Thunar, we have a little more sophisticated thing. Let me just check Nemo. What does Nemo, Nemo does? I never, I don't really need batch renaming of anything. So never really tried it on Nemo, but it seems like, oh, I think in Nemo, you can set up in your preferences. You can add batch renaming somewhere. 
yeah bulk rename we can add the tool but it does not contain it by default it's so weird that I <laughs> did not remember it, but I, I don't really use this functionality but if you need that Thunar has it and then we are moving forward to the next one which is going to be double CM these are these are going to be the natively double pane applications which are in the veins of uh, the midnight commander that we saw in the terminal based ones and um, I guess this is also this is very similar to the total commander or windows that was previously known as window Com windows commander which is based uh, which is a kind of a windows clone of dos navigator which is a clone of the Norton Commander, which Midnight Commander is a clone of, I guess. So this is how it looked like, and then also we have EMLFM2. If you are into color blue, I guess, this is your choice. <laughs> wow, it's really blue. Directories are blue, it seems like. Files are black. Great. Hmm. I don't have any of these programs um, installed fa except for fa and uh, oh even the comments are displayed there so that's nice fail to execute child process no such file directory yeah. so this is how it works you can even switch them or, oh no I don't know what does the, what does it do maybe for command execution and uh, open terminal can we open as root i don't know all right but this is how it looks we can see a cd on copy item select an active pen to the other one move so this is kind of the functionality of what you would need from a double pane file manager so next one on our list is uh, Crusader Welcome to Crusader All right Okay, I guess close No text editor plugin available. All right, so this is same as we've seen before double panel, but in Qt so Forgive me for making Qt applications look horribly ugly on this install but if you have Crusader, you can... Not Crusader, this is Crusader. If you have uh, Quantum, you can use Quantum. And Quantum is... this is... it's KV and Anthem, not Q. You can change your theme to something else. Like, I don't know. Gnome Dark, use this theme. And let's uh, restart this port crusader here which is also written the k maybe it looks better i don't know but hidden files are it seems like open by default and a lot of icons are missing here but the functionality i guess is very similar and what we have with double cmd so let me close this and let me move to the next one which is going to be tux cmd which is another iteration on the same kind of concept i guess and tux cmd was the last file manager that we had on our list so i guess um yeah i should have moved my camera up before i started this animation but this is the end of the video see you in the next one bye bye